Thank you so much for coming. It's that time of year again. Uh, court search is live. Uh, so first I'll share a couple slides about what we've got on offer to answer that um, recurring question that Courtney and I often get in office hours and in emails. What in the world should I take um, to be competitive? So let's dive right in. Um, okay, so first and foremost, you may have heard me say this before. Um, program prerequisites are the only classes you must take um, prior to beginning at Batten. So your very first order of business, take these classes. Um, prereqs can be taken all the way up until enrollment. So that's why I said by the point you begin at Batten. So not by the point of application, they can be in progress in the spring. You can even take uh, some of them through the summer, though nothing that Batten offers as a, with a Batten mnemonic at the start is offered through the summer. Those are only regular term courses. But that means you could take social psych, you could take micro, you could take calculus, all the way up until the point of beginning at Batten. Just keep in mind, um, from an application standpoint, that's going to leave a gap on your academic transcript that you should try and balance with something else. Um, and we can dive into that uh, later. If you have questions about that, striking that balance, we're also going to have application resources beginning next month. So you'll have other opportunities to ask your um, burning, how do I be as competitive as I can be questions. So these are the prerequisites. It's microeconomics and social psych, or the Batten section of social psych for the BA and for the public policy and leadership minor. Intro to policy is also a new prerequisite for the major uh, beginning this year. So we offered it only in the fall previously. It will be offered each semester going forward. Um, so you'll have a chance to, to take that again in the fall if you are a first year who's thinking about courses. Um, we also have under our umbrella, the social entrepreneurship minor, which is a pan-university entrepreneurship minor we house the social track. In order to be eligible for that minor, you have to enroll in ENTP 1010, which is a class on startups. Um, I'm not sure that that's offered in the summer. I think that's just a fall and spring course. So um, add that to your list. And then for our accelerated MPP, microeconomics and a calculus-based math course are required. There are a couple different options there. Um, it's a higher level calc course that we're asking for. We like to see you take a math course at UVA to um, demonstrate proficiency and readiness for graduate level quantitative work for the MPP. So while you can absolutely bring in that calc in particular prereq through AP credit, through transfer credit, um, if you're doing so, or if you could use a little bit more kind of a backbone in quantitative work, you might consider taking these STATS courses listed. STAT 1100, uh, STAT 2120, and then STAT 1601. 1601 in particular is data science with R. Um, we use data as our coding language at Batten, but if you're learning the basic building blocks um, through R, you can, you can essentially pick it up um, in STATA. So it kind of teaches you the language, which is a helpful um, helpful tool as you consider the MPP. Okay, so the caveat for absolutely everything that I'm saying going forward, none of this is required. Um, and in fact, none of it necessarily gives you a bump in competitiveness on your application because our process is very intentionally holistic. We're going to be looking at a balance of lots and lots of different factors. Um, so there really is no kind of prescription that you take any of this coursework. These courses are really more for you. You can exercise your brain, you can take something new, um, fill in the gaps in your knowledge. Uh, certainly as far as J-term goes, think about personal development and following your interests rather than um, kind of ticking off requirements. J-term is a really intensive experience. If you've taken J-term coursework before, you know that it's a lot of material smushed into a very, very small timeline. Um, so think about whether a course fits better here, or if it's on offer during a regular semester, whether it's a better fit there. Any of these courses, these J-term courses, um, count towards the major or the minor at Batten. 
Uh, this impact investing course also applies to the social entrepreneurship minor requirement. Um, it does require additional separate application. It's a, because it's a travel course. And I, I think indeed it will be a travel course in January. Um, so if you have questions about that or would like um, to be able to access that application, just shoot us an email and we can point you in the right direction. Okay, so moving on to the spring. Um, if you haven't navigated CIS before, which I believe you all have, um, you search CIS, uh, obviously by entering the term and then looking at public policy courses. And any course that is listed there as not restricted is an available option for you. Um, we also might continue to add additional courses to the offerings for the spring. Um, so certainly keep an eye on this list as you, as you approach your enrollment appointment. And I'm gonna say it just one more time because people always ask me this, are you sure that you mean not necessarily a competitive advantage to taking any of this coursework? Gives you a sense of fit um, as you're considering all of your options for degree paths going forward. Strategically, taking some of this coursework in advance would also give you a little more room down the road in your third or your fourth year for things like study abroad, double majoring, taking up a minor or minors. Um, so those are certainly things, if you're a planner, certainly things to think about now. So a couple notes on these particular courses. Uh, LPPL 2100 is taught by Professor Tim Davis. He is an expert on resilience, on group dynamics. Um, he teaches leadership development. So while this course in particular would not apply to curricular requirements for the BA or the minor, because it doesn't hit the 3000 level, it's a great way to start to build leadership and critical skills. Um, it's designed to help you kind of establish a community and um, kind of work on your strengths as you're transitioning to this college environment. Um, and it's also a great way to sample our leadership curriculum. LPPL 3100, I mentioned that this course fulfills uh, the BA and the minor prerequisite social psych uh, credit. Um, so if you're specifically looking at trying to understand how behavioral science um, is at play in public policy conversations in terms of kind of analyzing the behavior of groups, um, this is a good option rather than the larger Psych 2600 course, which is going to be obviously not targeted towards Batten material um, and a much larger setting, much larger lecture setting. If you are looking for a more um, intimate kind of curated experience with policy in mind, LPPL 3100 could be a good a good choice. Uh, LPPP 3200, Intro to Policy, that's the major's new prereq. Uh, so certainly enroll in that course if you have not taken it. Uh, and then the final course here, Public Policy Challenges, that's just going to give you a really good overview of the whole policy realm. Um, it is team taught by two of our professors, Jerry Warburg and Craig Volden. Um, between them, they have an incredible wealth of experience and expertise on government, on um, legislative politics and policies, on Congress. Um, so that's a good kind of general overview of the state of public policy today. Okay, so this is our list of special topics for elective courses. And this is, um, these are courses where you can dive down into specific policy areas that are interesting to you. Um, this is a long list. So if you want me to give you more description on any of these um, in the Q&A, just, just type up. Um, some of these are also social entrepreneurship classes uh, and also fulfill that minor. Those are noted on the slides. Um, I can highlight just a couple off the top. Uh, U.S. national security policy that's taught by the former dean at Batten, Alan Stam. Um, we also have a couple other national security flavored courses. Terrorism and counterterrorism is a very popular course. Um, contemporary issues in U.S. national security. National security is, is uh, an area of expertise at the school. We have a number of faculty who um, are practitioners in that area. We have an undersecretary from the Department of Homeland Security. Um, we have folks who've actually grappled with these issues in the real world. So that's a really popular uh, area of study for a lot of our students. Um, the JFK course is taught by Professor Sabato, who is, of course, the director of the Center for Politics. Um, and if you have any doubts that you could spend an entire semester focused on one single US president, um, I absolutely challenge you to take this course. It's shocking 
how, um, how the kind of legacy of the policy and social issues that JFK was grappling with in his administration um, really have significant impact and a lasting effect on public, public policy today. So that's a really cool kind of case study of a particular individual and in showing the relevance um, in the contemporary issues that we're all still kind of grappling with. Um, you'll see other courses here in nonprofits, in education, in healthcare policy, strategy and consulting. Uh, there are also cool SE classes, as I mentioned, SE being social entrepreneurship, focused on how to leverage innovation and um, financial strategies to make positive social change. So it's a really rich list of um, distinct policy areas that you can dive down into. These are not special topics, LPPS courses, but they also fulfill elective credit in the major and the minor. Um, so LPPL 3450, uh, I mentioned Professor Davis's resilience class. If resilient student intrigue you, this is an opportunity to take a very similar course directed at team building. Um, corporate social responsibility uh, is an SE or a major and minor course that's focused on the intersection of business and policy and social impact. So essentially looking at um, potential business strategies for addressing pressing social issues. We like to say that um, it's the kind of bureaucracy of working within the system, within direct government service is kind of too slow for you, too clunky, mired in too many issues. Um, social entrepreneurship is a different approach at solving really pressing problems that might be a little bit more nimble, really rely on um, entrepreneurial approaches, um, the intersection of business and nonprofits and investing and kind of non-governmental actors at solving policy problems. Designing a Life of Purpose is a cool course that also counts across all of our programs, SE, major, minor. Um, in this course, you're using design thinking and mindfulness methodologies to really identify your own skills and passions and figuring out how to harness those for the common good. Um, and then the final course on this list, uh, similarly, uh, NGOs in the policy area, looking at the ways that non-governmental organizations function in domestic policy, whether it's in poverty, social welfare, the environment, civil rights, a really good cross-section of the ways that NGOs operate in that space. So that's it. That's the menu for the rest of this year. Wow, that pink slide really makes my face pink. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, uh, Courtney and I have daily Zoom office hours. We have walk-in Friday office hours at Garrett Hall in room 106. Um, you can email us questions. And then I wanted to give you an opportunity to ask us questions now. 